I have to be honest, without Chris Haffey, inline skating would not have been at Nitro World Games. But when I see Haffey and his passion and uh, you know the guys that, that he brings in and just even going to skate parks around the world and seeing what Haffey can do, it's almost a forgotten art. Well, when we finally got like the actual stamp of approval for rollerblading that was in 100%, to be put back on the stage, you know, with all the other action sports to a mainstream audience is so big for rollerblading that it, would, it was nothing but excitement. Man, Travis put his heart and soul into this, and I gotta say, when you walk into that stadium and see all this setup, it is mind blowing. Like, just looking at it without anyone even riding it, so. I couldn't be more proud of the guy to get this thing done. Like It takes a guy with his vision to get something like this accomplished, and today is going to be nuts. Dave Lang always hamming it up for the crowd. He's got that indelible, long black hair, always pumping his fist. 80s rock star on blades here, dropping in with hella speed. Sick! Double oh, grab, stale 900. Laced it right out of the gates. He throws a double stale grab 900. That first athlete dropped in did his trick and the crowd erupted. It's like the train went off the track and everyone was standing on it. And at that point, it just started becoming a mob scene outside because they're like, what is going on in there? And everyone was just pushing through the doors to come see Inline Skate. Dave Lang has been doing a big air show in Germany, so he's, he's had a lot of experience on ramps like this. There's a kid, Roman Abrade, from France, who trains with a bunch of skiers, and I know he has some tricks that we haven't seen before. And CJ Wellsworth from Australia is so stylish that, like, if he can put some of these bigger tricks down with his style on it, on the day it could be anyone's ball game. CJ Wellsmore, the Aussie, I the Wombat on Blades. This guy's barrel-chested. Oh, wiping out there. Wake Shepman, the youngster, 19 years old, out of Florida. 16, 20. Oh, and he what? landed it. Chris Happy dropping in. Whoa. Double bio 540 to forwards there. So he's got two off axis rotations and then a late 180 to land forwards. And landing forwards is a lot more difficult on inline skates than many people would think. For rollerblading to be on this stage and put on that show is, is, means the world to me. Oh man, it's, it was awesome. It's, I'm gonna remember this moment forever, and uh, I wish it's just the beginning. Uh, finger crossed. I'm like, I'm still like on such a high from like all the adrenaline, dude. All the riders just killed it. I'm just so stoked that rollerblading gets to be shown on this kind of event to this kind of scale, and I'm really hoping that you know the years to come we're going to be able to keep pushing it and pushing it to the top you know and to be able to be up here on the podium with those guys is like a huge huge honor and i'm just i'm really stoked to to be a part of it 